this is my tech portal and in this video I am going to show you how can you get this Google Pixel Experience ROM in your Samsung Galaxy J7 2015 variant and I am using this ROM for about 1 hour and I have not seen any lag and the best part is the VOLT is perfectly working fine in both the SIM slots you don't have to flash any of the file which you have to facing problem in other ROMs and uh, simple steps you just have to install the file by DWRP I have provided all the links in the description so you can download the file size is around 1 GB so now you just have to boot into your DWRP mode to flash this file DWRP go to wipe advanced wipe and just select system data cache telvic cache these four don't touch internal or micro SD and just swipe to wipe everything so here wipe is complete so now just go back search for the file where she has stored it I have my file this pixel in my internal SD so here we have this file so just swipe to confirm flash it will take around 5 to 10 minutes to complete the installation by aroma installer just go next don't do anything and it will take around 5 to 10 seconds sorry minutes so I am just giving my part installing is completed so just go next and just reboot your system and after rebooting here you will see this Google Power by Android and the new Pixel boot animation. It will take around 5 to 10 minutes to complete the first boot. So I am just skipping that part. Here the booting has completed successfully and here you can see the Google Experience ROM, Pixel ROM for Samsung Galaxy J7. And it is running really smooth and perfect. I have not seen any lag yet. And let's just complete the settings which you have to do after completing the installation and booting. So firstly you have to go to your ES file explorer and uh, extract this file, open system edge, I have provided the links in the description. So just go to extract to current path and just extract it and here we have this folder and this backup. Is in this backup content open system edge backups. So now go to your good lock app and here we will gonna restore our data so go to restore data so you have to type password 1 2 3 4 and then press ok here you can see that the settings were successfully restored the device will restart and now your device will automatically restart so don't worry about that it can take up to 5 to 10 minutes depending on your device so here it has been restored so now it is restarting so I am just skipping that part it successfully booted so now just slide down and go to your exposed module and just slide left go to modules and you have to check all the three like pixel dock assistant enabler and your android notify and just reboot your system and before rebooting you have to do this step also go to your applications and default application your default app calling application you have to set it to phone just set it and now just restart your system it will take time I am just skipping that so here we have our pixel room So here you can see the pixel experience build version 1 by Shresh. So here we have our notification panel. Everything is the same. I hope you really enjoyed this video and if you did a like will be appreciated. And for more videos like this you can subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button down below. As always I see you in the next video. Thank you.